What's up, mechanics? Welcome back to Vim Tools headquarters, and happy Tuesday. Um, we're going to go right into it with questions. So, first, y'all used to make a can holder that had a lip that held onto the side of roll carts. My question is, do you still make these? We never made one that had a lip on it, right? A can holder that, made, that had a lip that used to... We have this one. It doesn't have a lip. But... It does. It's got a curve. It's not a lip. No, no, the lip. Oh. This means like it would hold on to the bottom here. Oh, I see. So the way these are actually designed is that the lip thing I'm assuming you're talking about is that all these spray cans have these lips on them. You see right there that actually catches on to the edge of that if they are full and it starts to slide a little bit. But the magnet itself does all the work. The magnets are super strong. Yeah, look. Bam. We had a pry bar holder with a lip on it. But that was the only magnet we ever made with a lip. Yeah. That's our only can holder. It's the only can holder we've ever made. Except for the green one, so. MCH2 and MCH2G, because we have a green one. When are you guys going to come out with the double boxed flex ratcheting wrenches from SEMA? The D... I forgot the part number. DF. DDF100, and then we have DF100XL, because we're going to have a larger set. And those should be here before June, right? Before yeah. June, so we should have them. May is ideal, but before June is what I'm sticking with. Yeah, so we'll have those very soon. So stay tuned. This guy says that, because we mentioned the Taiwan trip yep. last video, and this guy says, you actually need a person from here in the USA to go over there, taking up residence for a full-time basis for three to six months at a time. So the thing about that is that we actually have that. That's exactly what we do. We have offices over there with full-time staff, but that doesn't change the fact that there are the other part of the world. So either way, a conversation takes the same amount of time to relay information between each other. And decisions are always made by the owner, so he has to be there physically for that to happen in a much quicker manner. Um, but yeah, no, we agree with you because we do that. You have to have someone on site, like in the facilities every day, which we do. But when it comes to moving products along and deciding whether or not you want this or this or this, it's a lot easier to be there than to go back and forth every single day on 150 plus items through email. Yeah, we actually do have facilities overseas. So it's not like um, we're going over there just to visit other companies. Vim, or another side of Vim, is actually over there. We have employees in, in a whole office there. It's the private label sector of our business, which is international marketing and sales. It's what we do all our private labeling through. And if you're a dealer, you probably know that name, IMS. Yep. All right, so that's all for questions. Kept that one short. Uh, ask more questions. Well, that was a question, right? We oh, yeah. That. Well, this is a question, but it wasn't on YouTube. This was a question that we had on TikTok because we posted the RFW100 on TikTok and somebody said, put an 8 millimeter in the set and I'll buy it. So I wanted to show this. That thing looks ridiculous. <laughs> we say the 3 8 is too, it's just too big for that. We do have an 8 millimeter, but we're just wondering. <laughs> What uh, are you going to use a flare nut wrench for? That's a sample, by the way. That's, that's not in the set, for anyone asking. That's that small. Um, I mean, the standard equivalent is 5 sixteenths. So we just figured that there was no real use for the 8 in that set. If you think there is, and that it should be included, let us know. And let us know why. And, and let what us know you, why. you do it on. Yeah. Okay, so then that's it for questions. Now straight into product, right? Yep. Alrighty, so let's start off by talking about our precision screwdrivers here. We have three sets available, which is the, I believe it's the MTX, the MND, and mm -hmm. the... MSD. The MSD, and the... That's the MND, MTX, and MSD. Let's just put them right here. <laughs> three part numbers of screwdrivers. The MSD 100 is our standard... Phillips and flats, as you can see here, the size range is gonna be listed right up here. But I like the new green handles personally. They have these little spinners on them. So you're sitting there and you can literally just turn it while you're grabbing onto the spinner on the back. So it just keeps turning, makes it a lot easier for precision jobs, which is what they're meant for. Flats Phillips, now don't go using these as pry bars, guys. They're literally called precision screwdrivers. I know that's like the tendency, but you're gonna break them. You know what's nice about those handles is that um, they're so they're really thin. They're super thin. So yeah, usually so. when you're using these, you're working in like a little small little space, so your hand's not going to get in the way because you're holding onto a. And big you don't handle. even have to turn your hand, which is actually the design of the spinner wheel here. So you sit there and you literally just do this. You don't have to turn your whole hand, or even yeah. It, it just and this is and this movements. piece right here isn't 
isn't plastic. That's like a rubber, so no. it's very grippy. Yeah. There you go. Put that in. And that is our flat Phillips set. We have the MTX, which is our torque set. Size range going from 5 to 10. Boom, boom. Check those guys out. I don't know if I can do a close-up of them. But, no, that looks stupid. Anyways. All right. You have those guys. And then, of course, we have our metric nut setters, which goes from, what, what does this guy go from? Goes from three millimeters up to five and a half millimeters. Little nut drivers. Now, moving on to the rest of our screwdriver line. We have our SD100 that I talked about last week. We were talking about these super grippy handles here, which we still don't have a name for. So, like grip. that's pretty mm. cool. Keep dropping comments about what you think we should call these tacky, squishy, firm molding handles. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna call them, but I love them. We're gonna make a family of these guys, so we would need a name for them before we They're do that. They're very unique. So, our SD100, which we talked about last week, has your flats Phillips. The one flat it does have in it has the striking cap, if you guys missed that last week. Of course, the cool handles. And the reason I brought these up, again, is because we talked about the TX100 and the TX100 XL last week. And I want Mike to show those now. Yeah, but you know what, is that we've had these handles for a long time. We made these a long time ago. We just never advertised them. No, they were blue and they... We just released it, we just released it and was like, oh look, here's a screwdriver. But we never advertised these handles. And so we were looking at it and we were like, what the hell, these handles are awesome. And they have such good reviews and people love them. So it's like they like, went green and people started noticing. Them. So we, need, we figured we should talk about them. Uh, but this is our extra long torque set. I uh, don't know the size, it's T. They're out of order. Melissa, bam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one, two, three, four, five, six piece set. Uh, if you've bought our screwdrivers before, you probably have noticed that the plastic tray was a little crappy. So we updated that. This one is a little better. Um, I mean, it's still a plastic tray. So if you have something else that you hold your screwdrivers in, I would definitely take them out of it. Um, but the screwdrivers themselves are absolutely amazing. They're all magnetic tips. European shops love these guys, specifically BMW shops from what I've heard, but I've heard all European shops have use for these, especially in the doors. There's a lot of Torx fasteners that are hard to reach. And these extra long Torx screwdrivers with these super cool handles, Get the job done pretty well. Yep, and these, uh, the blade here is made of S2 steel. So this is an incredibly strong blade that you don't have to worry about breaking with a magnetic tip. And um, yeah, that's a TX100 XL. Lifetime warranty as I with heard. all of our hard line. <laughs> Jeez. They go from- uh, Y'all hear that? <laughs> My God. She's got allergies, a problem. <laughs> Uh, okay, so they go from T10 to T30. T10 to T30. Bada big bada boom. That's TX100 XL. Is the standard size like the exact same in terms of... What do you mean? The length. The standard length one, is it the exact same as that one in terms of size? I don't remember. Oh. Pretty sure. It's is it the, the same, same size range? Yeah. yeah. I'll double check later. All right. So, we have the TX100 as opposed to the XL, which is just a regular length screwdriver with the same handles and S2 steel blades with magnetic tips. These handles are, are really unmatched. And if you haven't tried them before, I really suggest you just get, a, get some um, and just feel them. Because the amount of grip you get. Buy them, feel them. Just buy them to feel them. Uh, but the amount of grip you get these, from these, you're not gonna find with any other screwdriver. And they do hold up. They are resistant to uh, brake cleaner. Yeah, solvents in general. Solvents in general. We've dipped them in gasoline. We've sprayed them with brake cleaner. We've really tested these things, and they don't like erode. I mean, it wouldn't make sense for a shop if they weren't, you know. I know, but well, that's the thing is that some people feel them, and they're like, "Oh, this feels like it would get like all gooey," but it doesn't. The thing is, if it, if it's something that ends up getting gooey like that, I mean, a tool truck probably won't carry it on a tool truck because of that, um, and they probably won't sell well in shops because of it either. You know, it's just, if you're seeing it grow in popularity in the shops or on the tool trucks, it's because something, something's right. And they do, they're both. They're both the same sizes. Mm -hmm. Okay. T10 through T30. Okay, cool. Again, help us name them. Drop comments, keep naming them. I want to I wanna know more, because the Python grip is definitely the we've got a runner, top. We've got a top three so far. Keep, whatever idea pops in your head, boom, pop it in. You can't sleep, thinking about the VIM handles, YouTube, boom, drop Maybe a comment. Maybe you'll get a mystery box if you win. <laughs> Or to get a free set of screwdrivers. 
with yeah, the handles. Sure. Yeah, you'll get a free set. There you go. The winner, if we pick one of you, because some of these names are... But if we do pick one of you, you're going to get a free set of the three screwdriver sets. You see someone said we should name it uh, Piper's Handles. I love that. Of course. <laughs> we'll, no put sense, a little, of course we'll put you Piper's do. face on the handle right there. A little paw print. Yeah. <laughs> a little paw print, yeah. Okay. Uh, something that we've never shown, but it's always been in this video, is our tool cart. So... We're going to bring this over there. We're going to bring that over there and we're going to do a little video. This is our five drawer tool cart, part number TC400BK. Um, it's really just meant to be like an inexpensive cart for someone who's getting started. It's not like anything special. Um, yeah, well, that's how good. you want to advertise it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's what we, how we brought it in. That's the purpose we brought it in for. So that people who maybe are getting started or you just need an inexpensive tool cart that is good quality. This is that. Um, it has custom wheels. We did opt for that. Look at this. Bam. And these are actually spinners. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got it loaded up right now. But uh, I the weight rating on each drawer, I believe, is about 75 pounds. And yeah, this is the TC400BK. It's on our website, but if you buy it on our website, you are going to get absolutely housed with shipping costs. So um, all of your local tool trucks have access to this if they don't already have one on the truck already. So ask them because they can get it for you and you won't have to pay shipping costs and all that other stuff. Um, so it'll be cheaper than on our website. All right. Close it out, Mikey. Close it out with a closeout? Yeah. Okay, here's our closeout of the day. This is the V512. It's a wrench gripper uh, with 10 slots. Focus this up. It's a green wrench gripper. Ten slots, put ten wrenches in there for nine ninety five. That is less than a dollar a slot. There you go. They sit in your drawer like this, or you pick them up, you take them on the go. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Wait. Okay, this isn't a hard plastic, just so you guys know. No, it's flexible. Yeah. So, it's not a POS. Um, this is a good quality wrench gripper. It's nine ninety five. We're closing it out on the website. So check that out. And that's it for today. Don't was that forget. a short one? How long have we been going? It's, it's short, um, with all the cutting. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of cutting today. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, were Every you going to say something? The is on, on live right now, the post on our Instagram, so make sure you check it out. Yeah, go to our Instagram, do the thing, like, like the thing. Like our last post, thing. comment, tag somebody else, and you'll be entered to win the next giveaway at the beginning of next month. And for all of you wondering what the hell Vim means, You'll find Check out. Check it out. Because Vim is a word. A lot of people say V-I-M. And uh, it's not an acronym. It's not, it's not it's an acronym. Word. Vim is a word. I believe it's a noun, right? It's a noun. Yeah. It and it means energy and enthusiasm. Okay, you, you just, just fucking told them. <laughs> They're supposed to go to the Instagram. Bleep that out. There we go. Well, hold on. There's, a, there's other no, stuff on no, there. No, bleep it out. You, mm, okay. Bleep it out. All right. Uh, so thanks for tuning in and uh, catch you next time. Peace.